Good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to the channel. In front of me today I have a 2020 Jeep Gladiator pickup truck. You know this mid-sized uh, truck is really interesting because I have not driven one. I've driven the Jeep uh, Wrangler but not the Jeep Gladiator and kind of excited to do so. Uh, this one that we have with us is an Overland model and uh, this is called the Gobi Clearco which is kind of like a you know military kind of cream. Uh, I really like it. It's really unique uh, color which is uh, kind of awesome looking to be honest with you in person. I don't know if the camera will do it justice. As you can see guys we have this beautiful truck you know of course you can see we got the lead um, headlights here with the surrounding lead circle which is really nice of course we got lead fog lights as well we got this really nice bumper here on the front um coming on here guys of course we got those 18 inch wheels with the bridge Dooler tires of course we got the jeep gladiator um Batch, of course, trail rated. Uh, this is an Overland model. I don't know what's this stuff because basically that and kind of stuff. I'll let you guys know in the video. But got the chance to get this, uh, the keys to this Gladiator. Um, don't know a ton about it, but I want to put a lot of details for you guys in the video. Um, of course, four door, four by four. We got the five uh, five foot bed here in the back from the Jeep Gladiator that I know of. Of course, we got already a hitch rack here. Uh, really cool the way all this is designed. I uh, love the way the lights are here. Coming back, guys, it's got a really nice, uh, cool side steps called Eye Armor. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, most likely it's on an aftermarket thing or is that something from Jeep? I'll let you guys know, but that's really cool. Of course, those who will know uh, will most likely let me know, but that is a really cool side step that I like. Um, love the way this just kind of sits at all. And of course, this look awesome with you know, when you put big 35, 37 inch wheels on these things, they look freaking awesome. So, I uh, love this. Of course, this has got a hard top on the top. We have here a soft cono tower to cover the back let's see if we can open up this back step here this has got a carpet in the back of the bed as you can see guys it's all the way down there we have a lead lay down here i'm trying to look for some connections there is uh no there's no connection here for any type of anything so but at least you got some lead lights in the back and that carpet extends all the way back here to the well so you got this tunnel cover here it's a cloth tunnel cover which most likely kind of kind of maybe uh looks like it's sectionals but uh, it's really nice the way they've done it obviously you got no type of uh, automatic opening or closing just your basic bed you got your big jeep badge here in the back as you can see we got the overland badge right here guys so obviously this is ready for tow uh i believe this one this one has the 3.6 liter v6 this will tow about 7500 7200 guys i'll put that information up on the video for you guys for to be more precise on the numbers so this is definitely can tow and you can put about anywhere from 1100 to about 1700 pounds in the bed as well depending on the um on the engines and everything this this one having a v6 4x4 it should be probably around the 15 to 1700 pound range i'll put that up for you guys as well but really really cool the way this overland jeep gladiator looks so really awesome the way all the details and everything is these are really awesome steps here and all oh, just in you know, the way it looks the mirrors and everything is really cool the antenna all the really nice and trims what of this jeep overland does it offers you so all right let's take a quick look at the back of this jeep guys here for you but uh this is a black leather interior that's offering this overland uh really nice the way this leather feels it's got a bit of a little bit of a light kind of gray grayish uh, uh stitching here of course these seats can be pulled down for a little more storage this comes more like a 60 80 20 as so you can do it of course we got some extra things here i don't know if we got this might have a most of the trucks have like a tow um, basically your jack in the back here i don't know if i don't see that of course here we got a manual back window you can open and close guys you can see there so it's a really nice the way this is it's really cool i mean of course these are known to have all this taken off we got a four speakers here and uh, you, know, you can make this a really awesome convertible take off the doors all that kind of stuff so we love the way this is it's a pretty little hard material of course and this is got a bit of leather here with a white stitching you get a nice big size door handle some pockets here um of course we got uh let's go ahead and jump inside guys real quick here so coming inside this roomy this is actually not bad it's pretty roomy in here um obviously on 511 it's still got a few inches from the seat here in the middle of course we got your ac outlet we got your see this are basically your window controls here because obviously you can take off the doors so you can definitely have those need to have those there so you can get those doors off and we have a three-prong connection here 
400 watt and we got four usb connections back there for type type c or regular usb so definitely got a lot of connections a lot of modern things in this jeep i love the speakers here and like i'll be awesome to take all this off this has got some sort of uh beige uh you know kind of uh because it looks like some sort of cloth here i don't know if that's from different from the roof or something that's pretty cool the way it is so of course you got the rest of the door we got that beautiful beige color there of course we got some pockets here in the back of the front seats and uh got some cup holder seals as well so and this also goes down you got some extra cup holder seals as well and a little bit of armrest here for your elbow so really cool really well done on this the seat the leather feels really cool i'm sure this is you know weather the de different as well so and of course we got that standard jeep gladiator wrangler type of interior here you guys so it's so really awesome the way this is set so not a lot but obviously it's you know it's a cool cool nonetheless so that's yeah. going to be the second jeep or the jeep type of wrangler this type of jeep that i drive i drove a wrangler quite a bit while back in the channel which has some lifted 35 inch wheels uh a little bit might have been a little different suspension this is going to be just a regular stock one that i drive to see how this goes so love the way this uh led lights look obviously you got the hood here the latches and we got your led fog lights here as well as you can see we got the front bumper here that you can put all kinds of accessories and customize this thing really awesome the way you can put these things all the way together so really really personalize your jeep gladiator so all right guys so here underneath this jeep gladiator we have I'm gonna go ahead, you have to get up, so you're gonna put this down to open up the hood, guys. I'm gonna mess with that. But underneath it, we got the 3.6 liter V6, producing 285 horsepower, 260 pound feet of torque. Of course, this is distributed to an eight speed automatic transmission to all four wheels for the four wheel drive system in the Jeep. So uh, I'll put that information you guys up on the screen for you, but really nice, you know, traditional power plant from the Jeep. I know that we're gonna put in the, uh, either the V6 diesel, and of course you got the four cylinder turbo, which I drove in. It's got a pretty interesting uh, torque. It's pretty so powerful. So guys coming oh. here, we have those 18 inch wheels. These are the Bridgestone uh, dualer, uh, you know, off-terrain tires. These are probably either all season or off-terrain. So I'll go check for you guys, but this one, they're nice, nice and big wheel. Obviously you can definitely put some nice 35, 37s on this. this. All right guys, let's go ahead and get inside. So, all right, so we of course we got the door here of course you got some leather we got the big door handle we got your power mirror controls here door locks and this obviously you can take off the door so the window controls are in the middle of the dash here we got the leather seats which are really nice nice and rugged thick feeling leather of course a little bit of white motor stitching these are all you know manually powered seat are manually operated seats and we got that awesome side step so let's go ahead you guys and get inside of this jeep here I'm gonna go ahead and guys close the door to get a little more quietness inside. So I'm gonna put the key here. Of course, we got the key here. This is a pretty big size key, as you can see. I uh, just opened and closed, pretty basic key. But of course, now we go ahead, let's go ahead and guys get this started. We're gonna press our brake and get hit the start stop button. So I guess I did a review, of course, of the, of the other Jeep that I drove, the Wrangler. Um, I'm just gonna get a little bit briefly into the interior of this one real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my seatbelt because we're gonna take this girl front for a spin. Of course, we got your leather covered steering wheel. We have all your controls here for the center of the screen. This looks like a five or six inch screen here in the middle. Of course, you got a digital speed, uh, fuel and your coolant. And of course, we got also a, a, a tack here um uh, analog tag and analog speedometer uh of course as here in the middle we have the 8.4 inch uh you connect screen from uh you know this is jeep this is chrysler ram the same type of uh screen very very nice it's got a really great quick feel to it as you can see here it's very quick you control the climate control controls app we do have a navigation in this girl as you can see and obviously we got those special navigations if we're going to take go you know off road that all looks looks at the map guys so it's really awesome uh we got your phone connections we got different settings uh we'll go back to the media so and we'll go on the chill we gotta gotta play to hear the stereo on this girl Let's see Well, that's got a nice sounding system um obviously I, this might have either six eight speakers i'll put that information guys up on the screen for you guys to see what kind of uh sound system this has but a really nice it's got a you know pretty much loaded interior not a loaded but obviously pretty much all, all of the whistle and whistles for this eight inch screen here now, of course we got your dual sony ac here 
this has got your volume this is all for your ac controls you can see you control the the uh, low from here and of course we can get uh you can control the fan speed here uh let's see if the ac is on it's not on because it's a little warm today we're at about 70 degrees up but it's it is warm in the cockpit here uh then here guys of course you can see this was up you got your auxiliary and two usb connections we have your window controls here and we have a one a one uh, a 12 volt here and over here i believe this is uh, you know, i don't know if you can fit a phone can fit in there but um then here of course you got your four wheel drive gear selector here we got your automatic asp transmission here a couple of cup holders here your, your basically your your manual uh e-brake and of course we got a little bit of more storage here you got a usb connection there and this looks like it has an extra little storage between as well here to put your wallet or whatnot so really nice really nice cockpit obviously got plenty of amenities of course you got home link here we got a mirror and of course all this comes out it's like a nice little cool uh feature that you can this is kind of like a extra thing you can put here it's like a cover or like a little cloth roof type of thing if you're going to take the roof off, of course you get the assist here you got your rear view mirror here so really nice i mean very nice loaded pretty nice and a nice featured uh you know jeep gladiator so um i don't know this i don't think this has heated seats let's check it out i don't see them here or if they're in the apps or in that i don't know if things have any seated seats um i'll let you know guys i don't see those here anywhere but uh or controls uh backup camera of course we got a backup camera as you can see there guys you can zoom in and out so that's pretty cool um i don't see white spot notifications uh climate settings controls audio settings snap um yeah i don't see the of course you got off-road pages which is cool all kinds of things you can have uh you know i'm gonna mess with all that but it's got a lot of cool features guys that you can see so um of course you got heated mirrors as you can tell uh mirrors are really cool so let's go ahead guys and take out this grill out for a drive now unfortunately I don't, i'm not gonna go ahead and you know wish i can take this off road so we're gonna get our eight speed going we got no brake and uh, we have a, we don't have a ton of gas so i'm not gonna take it on a short spin here and see how this jeep wrangler drives i mean this jeep, this jeep gladiator drives all right guys so all right so in this gladiator overland with the v6 this is the first time i'm gonna be driving the v6 um obviously the suspension fits a little bit stiff but uh obviously it's a nice you know unique compact truck uh subcomp or kind of compact truck you know compared to what you can, you can get so uh very unique looking uh, i think these things are awesome so um can ask for a lot for these trucks you know they're really, really cool and especially in this color so Yeah, the V6 has nice power. I mean, I'm not gonna push it a lot because I have a lot of gas, but yeah, it feels really nice. Very nice feeling. Now, this is the first time I'm gonna get to drive this live axle, you know, with, uh, you know, the way it feels, but no, this is actually much better. Um, you know, I get to trash up the new Ford Bronco, but this feels pretty nice though, actually. It's not bad at all. Um, not as bad as those with the 35, the Dranger that I drove. This is a much feeling, different feeling in front, so. There is quite a bit of wind noise, but that's expected of this vehicle. Um, this is, you know, a pretty pretty much a box going through the wind, so. No, this still feels nice. I mean, it's uh, not, not, it's actually nicer than the, definitely much more stable than the Wrangler I drove. Because so obviously that had a lot of big, thick 35 inch wheels in it. Uh, but this feels not bad at all. I mean, the, the obviously, yeah, it's, the steering is low. Uh, of course, this is a tall vehicle, you know, so it doesn't feel that, you know, big. You can uh, definitely feel you're on top, higher up in the, you know, driving position. And, you know, of course, this is a much bigger vehicle, so, but it's not that bad at all. Pretty quiet, we're doing 60, so. really nice to this uh it's actually yeah this drives much better than the regular wrangler or the the wrangler that i drove obviously this might have a little smoother ride because it's got a longer wheelbase but uh this is still pretty cool i, I really like this the way this feels to be honest so yeah it doesn't feel doesn't feel bad at all I mean, it just feels like a regular truck um yeah this has got a really nice feeling to it it's not bad at all the brakes, no, the brakes feel pretty good. 
It's kind of nice. Obviously, I'm going to turn this like a sports car, but... Power's nice. It's got, you know, smooth transmission. Plenty of power. You don't really need a ton, you know. This is not exactly a fast. I mean, if uh, Jeep will put the 392 in this, I think they will sell probably a little bit more. So, uh, going down this little bit narrow road, yeah, you have to keep your hands on this a little more because it is a little more, uh, you know, the steering is not as direct. Obviously, being a live front axle. So, but this is still pretty nice. It's not bad at all. Um, pretty good feeling, feeling a truck, so... But you can drive this every day. It's pretty comfortable. Um, yeah, this is nice. I mean, uh, you know, not as smooth as a you know independent front wheel drive suspension. Not as smooth as a Bronco. But this is still pretty cool. I mean, this still feels modern. It's got a lot of you know big screen. Uh, it's not bad. Obviously, it's got a little more wind noise uh, than usual. But that's just because of the way the vehicle's designed. So, but um, really nice. I really like this this cheap Wrangler here. I'm gonna get a little more AC going here, guys, on this side to cool down this camera because we're running the GoPro 10 right now and this might might heat up. So oh, this this Wrangler feels very nice, to be honest, really nice. It's, it's, we're sitting at a light, it's pretty quiet. Uh, you know, you got a nice stereo working here. Let's see what's on the. Yeah, it's got a nice stereo to it, too. I mean, it's nice, everything's nice. It's, you know, everything's very readable. I mean, obviously, this design is a little more kind of towards you. And the, 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 obviously, the Ford Bronco seems a little bit more, uh, you know, the cup is a little farther away, but this has got the same type of screen. Uh, but this feels, you know, very compact. It feels very homey. It feels very. You know, so quite quite a bit different of a feeling uh, to this uh, Jeep Gladiator, for example, than the Bronco or something else or a truck. So, but obviously, if you love, you know, the uh, the way Jeeps feel and need a bed, you know, they got pretty good capabilities with this bed, to be honest. So, uh, it's a really nice feeling. Truck's very smooth. You know, it's obviously the engine feels a little bit, you know, more. A little bit rougher than your regular v6 and the other trucks but not bad at all it's got plenty of power uh it doesn't feel it under power I mean, of course if you want to tow uh something heavy in an altitude yeah this is probably gonna struggle uh this is not the truck it's more of a truck for the beach you want to haul a jet ski to the beach something like that yeah this is a, this is definitely and of course you know get this thing you know convertible up you know with no no top yeah it's just gonna feel fantastic so kind of dual purpose truck for fun and for towing for light towing no, so so um all right let's get back here and uh let's see how this maneuvers inside here this little parking lot so this is a little bit longer truck but it doesn't feel too bad at all and as you can see the instrumentation is nice here so um everything's at your fingertips and i really not really like this thing this is really much more i was actually more impressed than the you know than what i was expecting so this is this is definitely smoother without those big wheels and tires to drive for every day so um I'm a, unless of course you're going to do some off-roading yeah you're definitely going to need uh those bigger wheels and tires so but uh, this feels great to be honest with you guys so um i really like the way this this jeep wrangler feels i mean this Jeep gladiator feels so yeah the steering is a little bit slower but that's not it's not bad at all it's not as bad as the nissans though as a frontier i recently dropped so here we got the backup camera as you can see that's got excellent graphics to this camera uh it's really cool you can zoom in or you can actually zoom out to your look at your tow hooks but look at the camera super nice this feels like a tv quality really nice the quality of that uh camera there so um really nice I'm, there's no traction or anything like that i don't see any type of uh you know sensor so this is just basically at least a camera that gave you to back up guys so all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this quick review of this 
Jeep Gladiator Overland. It's really nice. Love the color. Uh, the interior still feels new. I really love this Jeep too. I've really been liking this. is the second one of the type of this Wrangler that I get into. Uh, Wrangler Jeep Gladiator. So I really love the way these things feel. They feel cool. Um, I, I mean, although I really like the Ford Bronco as well, this has got a unique feeling to it. Um, and it's just differently cool. So, um, all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Enjoy the like, share this, this, this content. And uh, have a fantastic day, guys. And we'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.